does. They, they know they've got to fight over this Roshan here, Polaris. Problem is they're going to be fighting into the high ground, but they'll jump in force. He's there with a greater inner spear onto Vincenzo, but it's not going to be enough. Castino, he's in with a massive epicenter. Natsumi is going to try to TP out, but he's not going to make it. Nice ward out. Arena is going to be down. Force will try and pop. He'll go right to the backside, but who are we aiming? Right after the Shaman. Vincenzo's already gone, but now Tino, he's in. Onto Lelouch. They've already dropped one, or rather two on the side of Execration, but Bob, he'll just keep going. Onto Lelouch. They'll take the Necro. They'll take the Io, and they might just get Natsumi. Onto Gyrocopter. Back Bob, he wants a Rampage. Are they going to give it his way? Yes, they will. Force, he is going to drop, and Rampage will go the way. Polaris is inching towards that Orchid on Natsumi, and and they are starting to really just protect their mid tier. They're not allowing any Speaking sort of off. pressure from Plump Up. Speaking of Natsumi though, John, he has been caught. This time, Palos able to move in with Shanks and help out and killing off the Tenacious Prophet. So now, Force does move in onto the IO. Better be one con. Palos already so darn low with the chains out from Lelouch. He might just drop it. Bob's gonna move back in and now the RP's out. It's only call one though. They lose, managed to juke with the slide of fist, and now they can move back in for the counter initiation. There goes Talos, there goes Tino, and there goes Bob, just zipping right out of that team fight. Four stuff away, but Tino, he's not going to get the horns off, so now he gets jumped on. They lose, just tearing him apart on the Ember. In they move. They will try one last time as Talos. He's bought top the BKB, or even buy back on Tino, but they're doing no damage. Gino, he blinked in, but the horn toss is way off the mark, and now he's caught out. That'll be a dieback on Tino, and I think that's just game. And they can keep trying, but well, there's your gobble up, Natsumi. He doesn't even need to TP anymore. He'll just get sent in by the Snapfire as they do get him out, but what does it matter? I mean, how do you kill him? Yeah, Silence is there. The Io will try to heal him up, it just won't matter. Natsumi takes him out. They won't call it. They are no they will call it. Yeah. Being stalked here by mid one. Mid one's gonna be somewhat careful, but like said, they're gonna be the ones stopping Yamate right now as the Weaver is gonna get bursted down, but now they need their own way out as Alacrity gonna hold down the tiny mid one. He's a big target. He's still trying to run. He's in your dream. He'll go for the chase. Where the hell is Moon? Trying to make his way over from the backside, but they've already lost the tiny. So the fiends rip out Mizu. He is gonna drop us in your dream now. He's been caught out. Laguna Blade, the Aegis is gone as Polison. He's dropping a bit too low. Trying to pretend to be a tree, but it's not the time. He's in your dream. Gonna rage up and avoid the stun from Yamate. We'll go for the infest onto Alacrity and just run out for Yamate. He'll have none of it with the Walrus Punch and the Shards out, locking down Alacrity. Having the Life Stealer in him as well. In your dream is forced to come back out and go for the fight. They do get Alacrity down, the mid one, <laughs> rather Moon. We'll TP out. So will in your, so will in your dream. Go in now, mid one. He's already started. Alacrity, he does get caught out with the Fiend's Grip. The Lotus Orb was not there in time. They've lost so much already, and now the Shards comes out, catching out two into the Light Strike array. Mizu, he's still not safe yet as they do go for the Walrus Punch. The Nightmare, the Laguna Blade, they've got everything. They'll take down the Quap though. He's going to commit the buyback to try and protect in your dream with the Sonic Wave out, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, it was a good attempt. Still in your dream, had the Aegis up. And they oh. even down mid one. Get BKB, you can fuck. Double suck aside. There's not much avoid you can play. Dokam's in trouble. Dokam, great shards out here from Yamate. They're gonna probably get this first one though. He is out of there. In fact, he does jump into the tree line. Now mid one's the one in trouble. A 5v5 team fight to get this game number two started. And mid one's gonna be the first one to drop. As now they can just chase forward onto Ninja Boogie. They will not land the Illuminate, but they may as well have. As Ninja Boogie's gonna drop anyway. In fact, now Yamate, he'll move back in, but I'm not sure what the idea was there. He'll throw another shards out, but it's still looking right. Rather oh cold from in your dream. So it does seem like they have to get into mid to defend that instead. Moon already posturing aggressively with Ninja Boogie. Not gonna allow them to take any towers for free. 
Everyone from the GXC does make their way over as they make the jump in, but Mizu, he somehow survived! Alacrity's in! Moon, he's being pulled up in by Ninja Boogie, but it's not going to be enough! NGXC, they're going to completely wipe the floor with them! Curious up. The racks aren't going to hold for long. Oh. They're gonna try, but they've already lost half two, and in they go. Ninja Boogie trying to survive with the Crepper fight. Yamate's gone. Dimax Galore, there's your Chrono, but does it do anything? Do they have the damage? It doesn't seem like it is in your dreams. Just gonna man fight back, and he's got him. Mid one down without buyback, and that's it. GG's call. It's gonna be a little while until he rejoins, and they don't have the double nice damage anymore. Whack. It's the buyback, but it's too late. They need That's a way, way to scout late. out Vosh, but it's going to end up dropping with no contestion. Carl's in straight. Oh, Sunder. defensive Sunder from Astor. He's still going to lose his life down to the core now, but Avatar mode, brute forcing inside the triangle, and they have no way to go through the Death Prophet. Exo Siphon, so much damage with the BKB expiring. Avatar mode still has to respect him at the moment. He doesn't have any more Siphon charges, but Gabby, he still ends up dropping the relocate just too late. Carl's able to clean up the Death Prophet in the river, but back to Enryu they go as Neon. They're hanging Contested. around, they saw the Acon tree put up there. Oh, oh Enryu. he sees them all by the outpost. Cuckoo's got the fall up as well, just onto Enryu. Towards the west, Asa's trying to stand his ground, but it will not matter if they lose Avatar mode. He might be able to buy back to rejoin, but without the outpost, it's going to TP to the lane. Asa still, he's lost his BKB, he's got the Sunder, can he land a target? Straight over to Carl, and over goes keeping them inside the location, but Asa unable to right click into anyone, they're continuing to kite the Terrorblade, but you're taking the fight into the land of Neon, but it will not matter as Gabby, way too much damage, he'll end up dying. It's Look Avatar mode bringing this fight back into their favor, but Carl this will be a dieback. buying back in they go. Die back onto Avatar mode, and now Jing stuck on the high ground. He too will be another casualty. That's just going to give them all the information, but they've got the detection. <laughs> what? Okay, what? so the TA gets one hit. <laughs> oh my lord, <laughs> Gabby's just chasing for more, pillaging time deep inside the base, look at the cleave go to work, as the fountain will not protect you, just give it the rampage! <laughs> They're down rolling thunder though, so this could be a little tricky. It's going down very quickly, but they do have that blink in from fourth, as round two of this in a moment gets X. Now they do have Heavenly Grace afterwards. Pops off immediately, jump in. A little bit early on Lelouch. Can they do it? Gets Vision down lower, Ravages down. Oh, Xavius couldn't quite get the fear type. And Raven oh. gets the Aegis before Natsumi can finish it off. Good fear follow-up, but where is the damage? Do they have enough? They actually burn through it. Aegis down. Armel has the X looking for round two. Now Xavius is also going to fall, and Lelouch no more spear, but does have a jump away. But that's assimilate. Fnatic should be able to press through the tower. Good time lap for more. Jump forward. Trying to find a bit. Lelouch trying to get out of there. Ooh, Heavenly Grace keeping him alive barely. That's another dissimilated a second. Not going to get out. <laughs> and, uh, jump in, Raven. Turn now. TA out. Nullifier ready. They are going to blow him up rather quickly. Although Raven dropping a little bit low. Okay. I do not think it is going to matter at all. BKB, one huge hit from the Tidebringer. Almost one shot Mavis. Armel turns now onto the NP. Jab still barely able to live through all of this somehow, no. yet to die in this game. 3 0 and 14. Oh, he dies! Oh, we finally go down! <laughs> the Nature's Prophet Ultimate got him. Big play. Although, Fnatic, I don't know if they really care. All Although, right. they get Armel as well. Okay. They it's just ignored back. Raven, but that might come back to bite him as Raven looking to chase him down one by one. And GG is called. Picked up fourth. He has the Spirit Vessel. So oh, BKB, BKB DP just finished. Okay. Oh, big. that that one hurts. Tusk, he also has the BKB. This is the timing they want. Pop it now, jump right in, trying to blow him up, but the true form gets off. Raven getting healed up afterwards. The fear, the stun on the two, and then the snowball afterwards. Didn't stand a chance. Four Being dead. Alive. To the high ground we go? Not the easiest high ground. This bear is going to melt with Master of Madness on it and a drow hitting. Yeah, Raven just loses his bear, but they may punish Natsumi for it. Yeah, getting a little bit of retribution there. Good fourth staff, keeping him away. Needs a gust afterwards, but it's on cooldown. Armel's in deep. Turns. 
trying to keep him alive, and yeah, Armel also down. Oh. All right, Sonic Way, big couple of whiffs, and they get the bear and a kill for a while now. Going into the AC next for Lone Druid. DJ and Armel, they're hunting though. Oh, they find him, Natsumi, but he has friends nearby. Lelouch jumps immediately. The silence onto both of them has BKB on Armel. Wanted to come in for the save, but not able to get there in time. Now, Jabs moves on in. Another four staff trying to keep Natsumi alive. The TP is too long. They weren't able to get him out in time. As far away as possible in. He's Jump in, back. kicks uh -oh. away, still he's able to catch him, unreal! Good but the force. fear of the force staff keeping him alive, a second force, okay. Now they are gonna have three rounds of ulties afterwards from Savius. They drop one down onto DP, she's in trouble. Yep. They already have lost the tusk and they might lose more, but they have also lost the Rax. Raven takes it just so quickly. Winning so the fight, Raven though. is gonna lose the spirit bear. Can they find any more afterwards? They need everybody walking oh. away trying to get him. They get the roof! Barely able to find oh. him! Mavis, what a play! Deshaun. Oh my god, it came in at the last second. They were able to break that TP and now they can run him down. This is gonna be a full five wipe. You take that every day of the week for the racks, and they need to find more afterwards, but a great fight from Polaris. Hitting the ancient, wants to take it down. Now the snowball afterwards, go in. disruption, Armel, they want to go all in, the glyph is down. Do they have enough left to kick, but it's not on the real ground. And now the snowball, the eyes are there. They're gonna be able to take them down one by one by one. And with that, Polaris are gonna take game number two. Low on mana, and does manage to get the blink out before things turn south. Armel, no way, he's trying to take down four, throws out the jump, oh, the big turnaround! But Armel, he's in fraction since they're getting burned through, completely destroyed, a bash from Roche! That might be enough to keep Armel alive, but do they have it? Follow up afterwards, Naga Siren trying to throw them into the cheese blender, and will they be able to have enough, another disruption save? They're buying so much time, and Natsumi, he's completely out of mana, he's gotta get out of here! The chase down, they're looking they for more, they get him with the pushback, he's gone! Where is your shard now? And Armel Ultra Kill into Roche. They blow it open completely. Bug is on Roche. They know he's right there. Natsumi jumps in, wants to find the kill. Wow, the stun comes out. Remnant through. And oh, oh he's dangerous. caught. They got him with the net. He didn't pop BKB. Wait, are they not going to go for him? Oh my god, that was horrible. Uh, and now round two of this, Leslie, he does get caught by the net. Do they have enough to finish him off in the end? Remnant is there. They make up for a little bit of mistakes, but then end up getting caught on the other side. That's who he picks up the Aegis, also has the Agonist Scepter. Hasn't eaten it yet. We'll see if he decides to go for it. He actually does, so they're going to have a couple of different lives here. But with everybody else dead, I'm not sure what else they can do. Maybe he has a blink out. He's trying to switch it into his inventory. There, Armel ready to go at a moment's notice. Who do they find? Jump forward, wants to get him. Stun comes a bit late. Afterwards, the bushwhack, that range. They don't have anybody on Armel. And Arena. Mavis caught. Weaver. He's in trouble. He needs to find any follow up. They don't have anything. He's living through that one. Round two, but Ember's dead. Okay. Can he get out of there? Jab's trying to get away, trying to escape, but he's dead for two minutes oh. on the Ember. They have to find something here. Armel, the refraction is.